Okay, good evening everyone. I'm Elvin Peria, owner of www.elvinperia.com. Today, I'll be teaching you how to set up your Microsoft Outlook for your email blast using your Gmail account. First, we open an internet browser. In my case, I'll be using Google Chrome. And log in to our Gmail account www.gmail.com Then we sign in. We enter our username. And then our password. Click on sign in. So once we arrive at our Gmail page, we click on settings, which is located on top of the page, this one. And then all the settings will appear. So it contains general tab, labels tab, accounts and import, filters, etc. Since our focus, the focus of this video is to teach you how to, to set up your Microsoft Outlook for email blast. We'll proceed with forwarding and POP slash IMAP. Okay. So what does POP stands for? POP is the Post Office Protocol. It is a protocol used to retrieve email from a mail server. So in this case, our mail ser server would be Gmail and our email client would be Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. Okay. And what does IMEP stands for? IMEP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. Ac basically, it's just a simp a newer version of POP. Okay. So in this setting, it contains forwarding. I will not focus on this one. So I'll proceed with POP download. Okay. For POP download, we need to set up POP or we need to enable POP and there are two options in enabling POP one is to enable POP for all mail this means that everything every email messages you have in your Gmail account will be transferred to the email client and the second option is to enable POP for mail that arrives from now on so this means everything or every email that you'll receive starting now will be transferred to your email client so it will not include the transfer the transferring of email will not include the emails that arrived prior okay and the third option is to disable pop since the purpose of this video is to is how to enable or how to set up your microsoft outlook we need to choose or we need to enable our POP. So we can choose the second option. We can take this one so that there, there will be no uh, email clutter in our Outlook, in Microsoft Outlook. Okay? Next. The second thing under this POP download is what to do with the messages access with POP. So we have four options. We can keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. So this means you'll have a copy in your email client and you'll have a copy in your Gmail's inbox as well. Next is to mark Gmail's copy as read. So it's the same thing. The only difference is that every time you open an email in your Outlook, in your Microsoft Outlook, it will be marked as read in the Gmail account, in your Gmail account. Next is to archive Gmail's copy. This means all the emails that you receive or that you read, that you have read, will be automatically archived in Gmail. And last option is to delete Gmail's copy. So all the emails will automatically be transferred to your Outlook. And Gmail will, will not retain a copy of that email. 
Okay? So we'll just choose keep email keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. And then after this one, we click on save changes. After we save the settings in our Gmail account, we'll now open Microsoft Outlook. So this is the interface of Microsoft Outlook. And then we click on tools. And then account settings. And the window will appear. It contains a lot of tabs, email, data files, RSS feeds, etc. Under the email tab, we click on new. Another window will appear asking for our credential or for our email account. So enter in enter your name. Enter your email address. Enter your Gmail password. Then retype retype your password. And then click on next. By the way, if you want to set up or if you want to configure your server settings manually, you can click on this one. If you want, you can send me an email at elvinperia at yahoo.com for me to give you the settings for manual configuration. So in this video, I will not discuss this to you. So just email me for for questions or clarifications regarding this one. So after, so going back, after you place your name, your email address, your password, and your and you've retyped your password, click on next. Okay, the Outlook would configure your account, will configure Microsoft Outlook, and then it will connect to your Gmail account. So make sure you you have your internet connection with you or you're connected to the internet and then the third step will will be to log on the server and send a test email message so after this one you'll receive an email to your Gmail account or to your Outlook account as well depending on the settings you have chosen but since we use the settings that would require us to keep Gmail copy so we we should expect that we'll receive an email both in our Gmail account as well as in our Microsoft Outlook. We click on finish. Oh, by the way, again, if you want to manually configure your server settings, I can give you the instructions. You can email me at elvinperia at yahoo.com for, for this one, but I will not be discussing this on this video. So we click on finish. And then we click on close. So that's it. We'll just wait for our Gmail account, uh, our email to, to be received by our Gmail account. So we'll just press uh, uh, refresh this page or reload this page to check whether we have received the test message that being sent by that that's sent by Microsoft Outlook. Okay, we'll wait for the page to load. And it should appear there. Can you see that one? The, the email comes from Microsoft Office Outlook with an email address of efrenelvin at gmail.com, which is sent to me. So this is our name, the, the name I, I place the settings in the account settings, as well as my email address. Then it contains the subject Microsoft Office Outlook test message mailed by gmail.com with, with this content. This is an email message sent automatically by Microsoft Office Outlook while testing the settings for your account. So this email should also appear in our Microsoft Outlook. We need to refresh this one. Mm, we, we can click on send receive. To receive all the emails okay there can you see this one so this is the same message in our Gmail account okay 
So that's how we set up our Microsoft Outlook for email blast using our Gmail account. So wait for my video tomorrow that will discuss how to send multiple emails using Microsoft Office tools. That includes Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Access. So you can do customized email and send it to your address book in one click. So wait for it until tomorrow. So this is Elvin Perry of www.elvinperio.com. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Good night. Bye.